is the most popular month for weddings. If you're getting ready for your big day, listen up. Ashley Kirkland is live this morning at Knots and Kisses, a wedding specialty store in Harvey with a look at what they've got to help you out. Good morning, Ashley. Good morning, Vicki. You're right. June is a popular month for weddings and thousands of couples will be tying the knot this month. Now at Knots and Kisses, they know that your wedding is uni unique to you, so they want to make it special and they offer services tailored to your special day, you and your spouse uh, for that special day. Now we're going to talk to the brains, the mastermind behind this. Nicole, she's here with me and we're kind of having a dance party this morning, getting in the wedding spirit. We're going to talk about all of the services that they offer and how they want to help you not only with your special wedding but if you have another event coming up a lifelong uh, or a life milestone coming up they also want to help you with that so we'll be back with that for the hour knots and kisses in harvey wants to make your wedding experience very special and unique ashley kirkland is live this morning from the wedding experts to see how they're getting ready for the season good morning ashley Good morning, Vicki. This is the time of year where couples are saying their I do's and they're uh, making that special leap into marriage. And Knots and Kisses wants to make sure that your event is unforgettable. And right now I'm here with Nicole Korn, who is the owner of Knots and Kisses. Nicole, thanks so much for being here this morning. Now, you came up with this business concept. You started in 2007, and it was because you dealt with a bridezilla who was actually your best friend. This is very true. <laughs> okay, so how did that all work into a business? Business. Well, she called me up and informed me she was getting married, and then she had me plan this large event in a completely different city than I lived in, and she was, she was a micromanager. And so you said, I want to start a business that helps brides like her or brides that are a little bit more easygoing. Well, of course, we all like the easygoing brides, but we, we help everyone. Yeah. Now, what kinds of services do you provide here? We do linens, floral, day of decoration, day of coordination. If you do not want to break down your wedding, we come in and do that for you. At the end of the night, no one thinks about that. Yeah. And you guys are also in the same space. You're located in Harvey, yes. and you're in the same space as a DJ and a photographer. So Correct. you're able to offer these kinds of suggestions to your clients. Yes. We have CK Unlimited Photography and then Double Trouble DJs. Okay. And so when people come in and a bride is getting started with the wedding planning, where do they start? Well, it all depends. We start sometimes at the very beginning with full event planning or a bride comes to me, for example, two weeks before the wedding and says, I just, I need your help. Yeah. And so when do you recommend that a, a bride contacts you or gets you involved in the process? Well, since we are limited at how many event coordinators there are in the area, pretty much as soon as you get engaged. Yeah. Now, everyone is saying we heard the statistics from the not .com, the, uh, the the wedding website, that June is the most popular month, but you say this year July has been the most popular for you. July? Will be. Um, I actually, specific dates, um, later in July and then July 18th. Now, do you, why is that? Do you know why? I think or? because June here in the Upper Peninsula as you, if you look outside your window, it's not exactly beach weather. Yeah. July is a lot warmer. Yeah. Same with August. Yeah. So we, we're looking around. You do these sort of, you've decorated this table. This is what you and your team come in and do. And what are some of the things that are popular this season with weddings as far as decor? Um, different colored overlays are really nice. And then also as well, um, blushes peach colors, a lot of coral is coming back into style. Okay, and so is it, are you, do you work? That's right, Vicki, Knots and Kisses wants to help you plan any milestone event in your life. And I'm back here with Nicole Korn, who is the owner of Knots and Kisses. Nicole, what other events do you guys help out with? We do anniversaries, bridal showers, baby showers, bachelorette parties. Any event that you can think of. Yeah, and you have, you're wearing these glasses, and I'm going to put mine on too because you make these events fun and they're even for weddings, but you have like a whole costume room downstairs for all of these different events that you plan. What's, it, what's down there? Well, there's 106 costumes because we share an office with Double Trouble DJs, mm -hmm. and a lot of people around town know them for being fun and they have like this pink monkey suit that's very notorious and when they do parades um, a lot of their employees dress up yeah and you guys have stuff for the photo booths that people yes. have and you the also have uh, rentals that you have like a popcorn machine what other things can people rent for you from you for their event 
giant Jenga, giant Connect <laughs> 4. We have lawn games, tents, tables, chairs, popcorn machine, cotton candy machine, snow cone maker, just anything that you can think of yeah. to make your event extraordinary. We have it here at I Do. That's really fun. Now, let's get back to the wedding for a second because you ha you help brides with their do-it-yourself project because we know that Pinterest is so big right now. What do you think it of is. Pinterest for weddings, by the way? I like it. It gives me kind of... A lot of brides, they, they sit all day on their computer, so it's a good thing and it's a bad thing. Mm -hmm. So they come with all these different ideas, and I just help them narrow it down to something that we can really put on the center of their table, and yeah. they'll enjoy and it'll be timeless. Yeah. So what's this that you have that you kind of, you would help a bride make? Well, it's very popular on Pinterest to glitter stuff, mm -hmm. and I love glitter. You said you sweat glitter. I sweat glitter. <laughs> I love it. It's always all over me. So Mod Podge is really easy. You can find it at Michael's, Walmart, anywhere. And basically what you do is you paint it on. You can buy vases from the thrift store for 25, 50 cents. Mm -hmm. And then you paint it on and you pour the glitter on it. You can either do the glitter inside if you're using a candle, or if you're gonna put flowers in the vase, you put the glitter on the outside. And then what you do, if the glitter is on the outside, you seal it with this clear acrylic sealer. Mm -hmm. That way it doesn't fall off. But yeah. as you can see, I still need to spray a little bit more. And you say that sometimes brides come to you with their do-it-yourself projects that kind of are not that good, but you help them out. So they don't need to fret if they have something that is a little messed up right now. They did their best. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, every now and then it's, it's just kind of hard if you've never done it before. Right. And I, I craft all the time, so they'll bring me their projects and either I finish them up or I sit down and assist them with them. Yeah. Very well. So you guys are busy. Where can people find you? You have a busy season coming up. Where can people find you online? Well, we have a Facebook page. We also have Instagram and Pinterest, but the easiest place would be knotsandkissesevents.com. Okay. And where, where's your location physically uh, for your shop? We're out in Harvey. It's a lips and mustache sign, so yes. it stands out. I do events and weddings um, right next to Happy Dog Grooming. Yeah, and you're always happy to help. Thank you so much, Nicole, and you're happy welcome. wedding season. Thank you very much. Thanks. We'll be back with our fun, or we won't be back. <laughs> We're just having too much fun. But stick around for more of your TV6 Morning News.